All right, so we are going to be doing a Northern Lights project, but in order to do a Northern Lights project, we have to understand some physical science first. And the thing that we need to understand is all about parts of an atom, okay? So everything from your paper to you to your tables to everything physically measurable easily in our uh, universe, okay, most matter is made up of atoms, okay? Atoms are tiny, tiny, like the smallest particles anything can be built out of. And depending on how heavy the um, element is, helium is very light, the atoms are very small, versus iron, which is very heavy, and the atoms are very big. Everything is comprised of atoms. So let's go ahead and start with the center of the atom called the nucleus. And there's two different types of particles here in the center of this atom. One type has a positive charge to it. We're going to put plus signs for positivity in there. And these are called proton, protons, okay? The pro everything. They're just like, woo, love it. They're so positive. The other part of the nucleus is made out of one that has no charge. And we're going to put a squiggly line for that. These are neutral particles. They don't have a charge. So they are called neutrons, like Jimmy Neutron. That's what he's named after. Now we can actually see these. We have a microscope that's powerful enough it can zoom in onto the atomic particles of an object and we see little dots and we know that that's the nuclei of the atoms of that object. There is one part of the atom we cannot take a photograph of, but we know it's there because of its charge. And these ones zip and fly around the nucleus really fast. It is impossible to calculate exactly where they are. They're just that fast. And they make a cloud of these flying around the nucleus. And they have a negative charge to them. These negative guys are called electrons. And they are part of the electronic cloud that goes around an atom. So you have protons that are positive. Neutrons that are neutral, and then electrons which are negative. Now, I hate to break it to you that even though the sun is the greatest source of energy on our planet, it is also a huge emitter of radiation because it is full of hydrogen and helium atoms that are constantly being broken up and flung out into space which means that many, many, many millions of electrons, protons, and neutrons are all flying at our planet all the time in the form of radiation. And because of this is how we get the northern lights, especially when the sky is dark. And because our planet has a magnetic field, a force field shield around it, it actually protects us from most of this radiation. Some of it can still get to us in the form of solar storms. But let's watch a video from Ted Ed explaining how solar winds leave the sun and hit our planet's magnetic field.